Hi there, Duncan from 65, and I'm going to talk to you today about what files you can store in Google Drive. Like, are there some limitations? And, you know, obviously then editing them inside of Google Sheets or Google Docs, what are those limitations and how do you do it? I'm also going to show you how to uh, edit uh, an Excel file in Microsoft Excel that's installed on your computer instead of using Google Sheets in case that situation arises. So let's start first by what those limitations are. So Google publishes a few bits of limitation and let's focus on spreadsheets in this video. We'll do another one for other stuff uh, later on. So spreadsheets are up to 10 million cells or 18,278 columns, which is column ZZZ. Like that's a lot of columns um, for spreadsheets that are created in or converted uh, to Google Sheets, right? Uh, if you're doing an Excel or a CSV import, or, or yes, so you're importing from um, Excel, it, it's much the same, okay? It's, I mean, it's a volume thing. Now, in part, this restriction exists because Google Sheets is web-based, right? It's not like Microsoft uh, Excel, which is installed on your computer and relies on your computer hardware to be able to do the rendering and all the formulas and the, the calculations and so forth that are required. Google Sheets is entirely powered by your browser, and there is a difference. There is a difference between what your browser is capable of, so that we're talking about Firefox, Chrome, you know, Microsoft Edge, and so forth, and what your computer is power, um, uh, able to do on your computer, because there's, there's a, a layer missing there, right? Your computer, the browser, and Google Sheets, or your computer and Google Excel, uh, sorry, and Microsoft Excel, it's not Google Excel, and Microsoft Excel. So, because that layer doesn't exist, your computer has much more power to be able to do stuff. So what happens if you have an Excel sheet that you need to keep, and, and obviously you need to keep in the same place because it relates to a project, so you want to keep it in Google Drive, but then you want to be able to edit that and manipulate it inside of Excel whilst having the knowledge that it's also in the right place in Google Drive. So I'm going to show you how that is done. I have an Excel spreadsheet here. It is not very exciting, so, you know, calm yourselves. And as you can see up in the top left here, it says it's an Excel SX. It's a Microsoft Excel format. I've only got one thing in it. I don't need to add 18,000 columns to this for the purposes of the demonstration, but you never know. So you can open it like that. Now, what will happen is if you try to open it in in uh, Google Sheets and it's too big, it will tell you that it's too big. Now, I might actually want to be able to open this with Excel. So I can right click on this, I can click on Microsoft Excel. So Google Drive is smart enough to know that I have Excel installed and that will open Microsoft Excel for me. And now I can uh, deal with this locally on my computer. It's a mass massive spreadsheet, as you can see, just the one cell. Uh, and then obviously as I save it, and I'll type something else in there and I'll save that. As I do that, what will happen is it will save it directly back into Google Drive. If I now double click on that, but since it's now synced back, I can now see that obviously what I was doing in Excel is now exactly the same in Google Sheets. Now obviously if you've got your files synchronized to your computer using the Google Drive sync tool, then that means you can go to your Google Drive and open that file directly as well. So I can double click on this here and it will, my computer will treat it just like any other file um, that is uh, on my computer. And it will say, well, I know that that is an Excel file and it will open it in Excel natively. Uh, and of course, then if I save that and quit, it will synchronize that back into Google Drive. And if I now refresh this, and open up in Google Sheets. Oh, it hasn't synchronized just yet. So we'll give that just a moment uh, to do so. And there you go, all of those changes that I've just made are now also available inside of Google Sheets. So, you know, bear in mind those limitations. Uh, the other things you will find is if that spreadsheet has macros in it, you won't be able to do that in Google Sheets. The equivalent to that in Google Sheets is Apps Script, but they're not transferable. It's a different language. Um, Apps Script is JavaScript base, and macros are based on uh, Visual Basic. So they will have to be rewritten if you're going to use those things um, in, in the equivalent platform. So there you go. That's the limitations of things you can do with a Microsoft Excel document in Google Drive. Um, 
you know, you won't come across them very often, uh, but there is something to be aware of. That being said, you can still save those massive files inside of Google Drive. You just can't edit them directly inside of Google Sheets. Thanks very much for watching. I hope this was useful. If it was, please like and subscribe below, and we'll see you in the next video.